Hey, hey, how you doing on this beautiful day? My name is Keith, a.k.a. GQ Smooth, Mr. Original, GQ Smooth Films 2024. And today's film documentary is called Traditional Man. When it comes to a traditional man, a traditional man is someone that's strong-willed. When it comes to his mind, his mindset, uh, when it comes to his aura, his characteristics, when it comes to his vibe, when it comes to his energy, when it comes to his soul, you know what I mean? We're old souls when it comes to being a traditional man. Uh, we don't take no bullshit off of people, you know what I mean? Uh, we're loners, you know what I mean? Uh, we're real, not fake. Uh, we are uh, very, very, very protectors. You know what I mean? When it comes to the person that we're with in a relationship, we're protectors. You know what I mean? That's what traditional men do. We protect. You know what I mean? Under any means necessary, we protect. We're protectors when it comes to a relationship. Um, traditional men, we don't take no bullshit off of nobody. We don't care who it is. You know what I mean? Um, we're loners too, when it comes to being traditional men. We're loners. Um, we are the type of men that we don't like being around a lot of people. And when I say a lot of people, I mean a crowded full of people. You know what I mean? Um, we're like eagles. We have a sharp eye. You know, we keep our eye on everything. We sit back and observe people. We don't have to know nobody. We can sit back and observe you. Sit back and just watch your movements, how you talk, how you move, the things you say. You know what I mean? So we can um, we can pinpoint shit when it comes to people. You know, we can see right through people. You know what I mean? We can read people like a book. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes to being a traditional man, uh, we have OCD. And OCD means we're very clean in us. Uh, we're very clean about ourselves. We love to be clean. We're clean. You know what they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes to being a traditional man, uh, we walk with confidence. Uh, when it comes to being a traditional man, we're all about integrity. We're all about conviction. We speak with integrity. We speak with conviction. You know what I mean? When we speak, we speak. When we speak, you're going to, you're going to listen. You're going to listen. When we speak, we speak. Our voice is loud. And when I mean loud, I don't mean when it comes to screaming at someone. What I mean is when we speak, we speak loud when it comes to our words. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes to a traditional man, we are protectors. We protect when it comes to 
someone that we love dearly. You know what I mean? Um, especially when it comes to a relationship. We're protectors as men. We protect, you know what I mean? And um, in this day and age, in this society today, when it comes to the majority of women, they're not used to being with a traditional man. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of women this day and age, the majority, I'm not gonna say all, but the majority, they don't know what a traditional man is. Um, traditional men, we cook. You know what I mean? Uh, we clean. Um, we have standards that a woman has to abide by. Um, we have standards. Uh, we have expectations. Um, our expectations are not high, but we do have expectations when it comes to the person that we are in a relationship with or married to. Um, when it comes to traditional men, as I said at the beginning of this video, it's not about what you drive. It's not about a house. It's not about a car. It's not about jewelry. It's not about clothes. It's not about sneakers. It's not about anything that you can buy at a store. It's all about what's up here, your mindset. It's, it starts up here. It's not about muscles. It's not about tattoos. It's not about showing off your muscles in public, on social media, trying to get attention from people. That's insecure men right there. Those are not traditional men right there, okay? Those are not traditional men. When it comes to uh, social media, there's a lot of beta males and simps that's on social media. And the reason I say that is because Whenever you see a man on social media that's uh, flexing, posing, showing muscles, uh, uh, taking a bunch of pics to try to get attention and validation from other men, <laughs> you know, or women, then those type of men are insecure men. Those type of men aren't traditional men. Those are beta males. Those are simps. Those are weak men. They, that, that feel like they have to use sexuality and materialistic things on social media to get a woman's attention instead of using the most important thing, and that's your mindset. Uh, traditional men, um, we are observers, which means we observe quite well. You know what I mean? We observe people. We can see people for who they really are. Uh, when it comes to traditional men, our third eye is always open. You know what I mean? Our third eye is always open. And that's the penal gland. You know what I mean? Um, traditional men, uh, we don't take no crap off of nobody. You know what I mean? Uh, we're loners. We're the lone wolves when it comes to our family, people that we know, whatever. Uh, we're lone wolves. You know what I mean? Um, we're unique. We're original. We're laid back, uh, we're down to earth, we're sophisticated, we're intelligent, we have great intellectual skills. Our intellect is very strong when it comes to our intellectual skills. Um, so we're not about the spotlight either. You know, we don't need attention, we don't need validation from family members, uh, people that we know, uh, the public. Uh, we just don't need attention and validation from people. We really don't because those are weak-minded people. And when it comes to traditional men, we don't need attention from nobody. You know, we get attention from God. You know what I mean? He gives us all the attention that we need as traditional men. You know what I mean? We don't need attention and validation from people. Um, when it comes to traditional men, we have an old soul when it comes to who we are as men. We have an old soul of ourselves. Now, um, when it comes to a traditional man, yes, we're old soul people. You know what I mean? Which means we're misunderstood when it comes to, to, to life, when it comes to people in general, when it comes to the public, when it comes to our family, when it comes to an associate, stranger, friend, relationship, marriage, whatever. We are very misunderstood people and we will forever be misunderstood. 
because we have a unique mindset. We have an original mindset. We are original. We, as uh, traditional men, we are very original. Originality is our um, is our forte. You know what I mean? Um, so we're original people, which means we're just original. You know what I mean? We rather be bored. We rather be boring people than toxic people. Now, don't get me wrong. When it comes to traditional men, such as myself, we're fun, we're loving, we're caring. Uh, we like to have fun. You know what I mean? And uh, we love to laugh. We love to tell jokes. We love to make people laugh and everything. Um, but despite all of that, we're going to always be traditional men. Um, traditional men, um, um, we don't do pork. We don't do beef. The majority of traditional men, we don't do that type of stuff. Uh, we don't eat that type of stuff. You know what I mean? It's mostly like chicken, turkey, fish, salmon, uh, vegetables, fruits, um, uh, flavored water, water, cranberry juice, uh, VA splash, stuff like that. Um, traditional men, we use a lot of seasoning on our foods. You know what I mean? We're good when it comes to using different types of seasonings when it comes to our foods. We are great cooks. Um, you know what I mean? Um, we love a lot of music such as jazz, R&B, old school, classical, um, we love Christmas music. We just love music that has a, a meaningful message to it, you know, that makes our soul smile, you know what I mean? That doesn't irritate our soul, you know what I mean? Uh, traditional men, um, for the most part, were very gifted people from God, you know what I mean? Traditional men were very gifted. Um, I think a traditional man such as myself is what I just described. And the majority of traditional men that you see are from the from the 50s, from the 60s, from the 70s, uh, from the 80s. You know what I mean? Uh, traditional men were 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 back then. Traditional men. Uh, today and age, this day and age, you don't have a lot of traditional men anymore, for real. Because and, and, and the reason I say that, and the reason I say that is because. When it comes to today's society, today's generation, I blame social media. Uh, I blame today's music. I blame today's reality shows. I blame uh, dating apps, uh, chat lines, just everything that has everything to do with social media, dating services, uh, reality shows, today's music that doesn't have a message to it, that doesn't have any type of positive meanings to it or whatever. Uh, when it comes to today's reality shows, it's all about drama, it's all about fighting, it's all about she's sleeping with um, uh, another guy, cheating on her boyfriend, the boyfriend's cheating on her, and all about cheating, all about deceit, all about deceitfulness, all about evilness, all about turmoil, all about chaos. As, as traditional men, we don't like none of that stuff. We don't look at those type TV shows. Uh, when it comes to today's music, we don't listen to today's music because it's all about uh, uh, sexuality. It's all about, uh, it's all about, um, it's just all about negativity for the most part. It's all about uh, beating somebody up. It's all about, uh, when it comes to the women, um, as far as rappers and, and singers, it's all about just bullshit. It's all about um, uh, tearing the man down. Uh, the man ain't shit. He ain't shit. He did this. He did that. You know what I mean? Um, it's just all about negativity. It's all about negativity for the most part. Um so today's music is all about just negativity. It, 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 it doesn't inspire people. You know, all it does is tear people down. It gets people to want to fight, argue, uh, 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 cheat, and so forth. It, it doesn't have any meanings to it. Traditional men, we don't like today's music. We don't do today's music. We don't do today's reality shows. Uh, 
uh, even when it comes to certain movies, um, there's no meaning to, to today's society anymore. People, traditional men, we, we just, we feel like we don't belong here. We don't belong in today's society. We feel like we belong somewhere else on planet. We, we, we belong on another planet other than planet Earth. We, we feel like we belong on a planet where it's nothing but traditional men. Traditional men, man. Traditional men, we have standards. We're, we're just good, solid people. We're good people for the most part. Um, so, as I said before at the beginning of this video, when it comes to uh, today's society, there's no more traditional men. And if it is, it's very rare that you will be in the presence of a traditional man. Um, there, there, there are some out there, but it's, it's very few. And, and, and when you do find yourself being in the presence of a traditional man, be privileged, be blessed, be grateful. Because traditional man, man, we just, we're very peaceful. We're all about love. We're all about peace. We're all about harmony, tranquility. We're just all about just, 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 just all about being ourselves. We, we feel like we don't have to pretend to be somebody that we're not to impress the public, um, to impress a family member, to impress a, a friend, associate, stranger, uh, a person that we're in a relationship with, a marriage. We're not pretenders, you know what I mean? We don't pretend, you know, we are who we are. You know what I mean? Um, we real as they come. And, 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 and then when we look at today's society, um, we don't we don't we don't we don't see peace anymore we don't we don't see love we don't see harmony we don't see tranquility all we see is people that's wanting to to just look down on one another uh want to kill people uh uh want to stare at you wrong want to look at you up and down want to give you mean stares and cold stares um you know what I'm saying? As traditional men, we're not all about worldly things either, for real. We don't care nothing about, I mean, you know, some traditional men out there, we have those things, but we don't need them if we don't want to. We think that, you know, they look good. We, we you know, we like wearing different bracelets and necklaces and stuff like that. But the thing is, we don't let that stuff, uh, we don't let those things uh, tell us who we are. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't let those things rule us as traditional men. We just have those things. But as traditional men, we don't need those things. You know, we don't, we don't need those things. Um, as traditional men, we don't like fake people either. Uh, as traditional men, we don't like fake people. Uh, we don't deal with fake people. We don't like jealous people. We don't like a jealous person. We can detect when we're in a, we, we can detect when a jealous person is within our radar, within our presence, around us. And as soon as we detect that there's a jealous person within our presence and around us, we don't want to be around them no more. We don't, we don't, we don't want to have anything to do with them because when it comes to fake people and a jealous person, you're ruining our vibe. You know what I mean? And, and our vibe as traditional men, our vibe is kind. Our vibe is cool. And so is our aura. So is our characteristics. So everything about a traditional man is positive. So in terms and conclusion, when it comes to being, when it comes to a fake person, jealous person, fake people are, are, are jealous people, you're throwing us off. We don't want to be around you. We don't have nothing to do with you. Um, we're very cautious when it comes to those type people. So, and you know, being a traditional man such as myself, I've been around a fake person, fake people, a jealous person, jealous people back then and now. And what I do is, what I do is I don't want to be around them. Um, and I can always tell a fake person from a real person, a jealous person from a real person. I could tell from the first time I meet you, from the first time you speak, if I get that that bad vibe coming from you or that bad energy coming from you, then I don't want to be around you, for real. And you have a lot of that in this generation. As traditional men, like we're just, 
we don't like dealing with people because we can't trust people sometimes you know we we it, it's, it's trust is 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 a valuable thing and when you lose our trust well we can't trust you we don't want to be around you and as traditional men we our six senses are strong our intuitions are strong you know what i mean so um our gut feelings are strong as traditional men. Uh, so the moment that we sense that something's off about a person, when it comes to a friendship, family ship, relationship, marriage, we're going to question that. We're going to question it. And, you know, and if, if we have to question it, that's not good. As traditional men, it's like we're, and, and I admit, as traditional men, um, we are old souls we're laid back uh we can be quiet at times for the most part uh but for the most part we're very outgoing outspoken people um uh, uh we say what's on our mind we say what we mean and we mean what we say um uh, we do what we do you know what i mean we like doing what we do how to do it where to do it, what time to do it, don't matter. We like doing what we do, it, you know, especially if it's positive, you know what I mean? We don't like negativity. Uh, as a traditional man, uh, a lot of people don't like traditional men because we're strong. We're strong-willed, you know what I mean? And speaking on what I was speaking on um, 15 minutes ago when it comes to uh, the majority of women in this generation they don't know how to they don't know anything about traditional men I ain't saying all but the majority of them because the reason I say that the reason I say this is because if the majority of women knew what a traditional man was they'll be with one right now so if you hear a woman tell you that she's been with in many, many many relationships and let's say for example let's say for example um and i'm using this for example let's say if so, a woman tells you that she's had many relationships and they all went sour they all have went bad you know what i mean so and then she's with you the traditional man so now the reason I say that now, I'm giving you an example. Uh, I'm giving you a metaphor. So if she's telling you she's been with all these guys, as far as relationship goes, whatever the case is, and those relationships have went south. And she's with you now. So that tells you right there that she don't know what a traditional man is. Because if she knew what a traditional man was, she would be with the, the person or people that she was in a relationship with back in the day. So now she with you. So now you have to basically let her know what a traditional man is, what his standards are, what his expectations are. Basically you have to, to basically uh, teach her about what a traditional man is the things that we will accept and the things that we won't accept. You know what I mean? So for the most part, traditional men, we're very um, family oriented, but we're not gonna take no bullshit off of family members. We're not gonna be around uh, fraudulent, fake, two-faced family members. Now we're very uh, uh, family oriented, yes, but we're not gonna be around fake people because as I said before, as as traditional men, we have old souls. We're very uh, peaceful, all about peace, love, and harmony and tranquility. You know what I mean? So in terms of conclusion, we're not going to take no bullshit off of family, even though we're family oriented. Even when it comes to a friendship, you know, you, you're, you're either a friend or you're not. You know what I mean? So, and that's another thing, traditional men, we can sense to where the friend is 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 with us or against us if the friend is talking about us behind our back 
are talking in front of us. We can tell if a friend is 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 a real one or a fake one. We can tell just by the 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 body language, the the words that are coming out of that person's mouth, the words that they speak, how they speak it, the way they speak it. Um, if they're loyal, trustworthy, you know. So uh, when it comes to relationship. You know, as I said before, a traditional man, like we, we, we're just, we just, we, we're, we're from like, like me, for example, you know, um, I'm a traditional man, you know, I'm in my forties. So, but I don't think, I think older than what I am. I think I, I have the mindset of a, of a man that's 20 years older than what I am like in his late 50s or early 60s or whatever, the mind mentality. Uh, so I have the mindset of a traditional man. I am a traditional man when it comes to my aura characteristics, when it comes to uh, my vibe, my energy, uh, uh, the words that I speak, the way that I speak, how I speak it, when it comes to my walk, Everything about me speaks traditional man. You know what I mean? And when you are, you're, you're traditional at birth. You know, this is something that you can't just wake up and say, I want to be a traditional man. No, this is something that you were born with. You know what I mean? So being a traditional man is, is something that you were born with as far as the characteristics as far as the embodiment, you know what I mean? So this is something that just like when it comes to old soul, this is something that you were born with at birth. So when you are a traditional man, uh, when you have traditional uh, characteristic traits, as a child, you're misunderstood. You're smart. You're smarter than all the other students. Uh, a lot of people look at you strange. A lot of people stare at you strange because... You have a certain glow. There's a certain glow about yourself. You know what I mean? There's a certain shine about yourself. There's a certain sunlight about yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you walk into a room, you shine on people. When you walk into a room, you you are the light. You know what I mean? And you are the light. You know what I mean? You are the light that you seek when it comes to being a traditional man. You know what I mean? Uh, traditional men... We don't need a spotlight. We shine within and without. So when it comes to being a traditional man, we don't need the spotlight. We don't need all eyes on us. We don't need the spotlight. We don't need the attention. You know what I mean? When you are a traditional man, you have a bunch of characteristic traits that follows you being a traditional man. You know what I mean? So when you are a traditional man, there's being a chosen one, there's being a empath, there's being a star seed, there's being a seer, there's being a light worker, uh, there's being a um, there's being all those characteristic traits, all in one. So when you have all those characteristic traits that I just mentioned, there goes a traditional man. So all of that is within this big ball. You have a big ball, and then you have chosen one. You have um, empath, star seed, seer, uh, 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 light worker, all that stuff. Uh, earth angel, and then you have the traditional man. All that is in one ball. They're in the same families. Is is what I'm trying to say. So, a traditional man, like we don't, we don't, um, we try to protect. We're protectors when it comes to our woman. Uh, the person that we love, our loved one, you know what I mean? And then what we'll try to do is protect that person that we're with. So, but you're going to have a lot of jealous people that's going to envy you as a as a uh, traditional man is because you have value. You, you are, you, you, there's something special about you 
and you have strong characteristics about yourself. So a person that's jealous of you is jealous of you because they see that you have certain characteristics about yourself that they want. So a person can have an expensive car, big house, jewelry, clothes and all that and still be fucked up in the head and, and, and will still be jealous of you because you have a certain characteristic about yourself that they don't have because a person can have everything in the world, big mansions, uh, um, uh, uh, expensive cars, all this stuff, but they still want your shine. They still want your light. So a person can have all that and still not have that light that you have. Can still have not can still have can still not have that shine that that you don't have. Can still have that specialness about you that they don't have. So when you when you look at it, all that stuff don't mean nothing. What's the most important thing that overrules all that shit is your mind. Being a traditional man, he's all about mindsets. He's all about uh, characteristics, aura, vibe, energy, all that stuff. And when a, when a traditional man walks down the street, he walks with confidence. He walks with integrity. He walks with conviction. You know what I mean? So, uh, and that's the most important thing when it comes to a traditional man um, is confidence in integrity and conviction being himself being strong-willed know who he is you know what i mean a man of god so traditional man we are men of god you know what i mean like we love god we're all about jesus we're all about the lord we're all about god we praise god you know even being in a relationship we pray with that woman over our food because we as traditional men we know that God prepared that food. God made that food. God made me. God made the sunlight that I'm looking at right now. All the cars that you see in the back of me right now, these stores, these trees, God made that. He's the creator of all creators. He made all this. So in terms, in conclusion, I'm going to praise him. You know, I'm going to praise God every day. You know what I mean? So especially when it comes to your food, as traditional men, that's the that's the thing that we love most about being traditional men is that we pray over our foods because God made that food that's in front of us that we're going to eat that I have prepared for me and my lady. You know what I mean? So um, as traditional men, we're 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 we love to pray. And the reason we love to pray, because. <laughs> We're supposed to pray. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of men don't know that. So as traditional men, we're all about prayer. You know what I mean? So as traditional men, we feel like uh, we feel like we feel like that we don't belong here. If it was up to us as traditional men, if we had one wish, we will wish for world peace. If we had another wish, we would wish for a planet where it's nothing but traditional men on. Where we're in a relationship where the woman that we're with understands what a traditional man is and is going to value us as traditional men. They know what they need to do uh, uh, to be in the presence of a traditional man. You know what I mean? So a lot of women this day and age, they talk down on traditional men because they've never been in the presence of a traditional man before. They've been in the presence of bad boys. They've been in the presence of beta males. They've been in the presence of low life dudes. They've been in the presence of no good ass dudes. They've been in the presence of simps. They've been in the presence of soft dudes. They've been in the presence of dudes that's trying to impress them with their uh, materialistic things, materialism. They're, they're, they've been the president of dudes that's trying to uh, impress them with sexuality. They've been the president of dudes that's just all about sex. And that's another thing I want to talk about. When it comes to a traditional man, um, we bring we bring a lot to a relationship other than sex. It's not all about sex all the time when it comes to a relationship. 
You know what I'm saying? As traditional men, we know that. And, 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 and as traditional men, we bring a lot more to a relationship in a marriage more than just sex. Now, as traditional men, we know that we know that 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 comes along with it. But as traditional men, we know that we know that uh, we bring more to a relationship in a marriage more than just sex. And a lot of men don't know that. A lot of men think that because they can, um, you know, have sex with a woman and fuck a woman, that they're traditional men. No, no. It starts up here. It don't start here, the muscles. It don't start with tattoos. It don't start with cars. It don't start with clothes. It don't start with jewelry. It don't start with shoes. It don't start with money. It starts with your mindset. It starts up here, first and foremost. And a lot of men don't know that. They need to be schooled by traditional men such as myself. You know, I'm an 80s baby. I'm in my 40s and I know what a traditional man is, you know, because I'm ahead of my time. I'm light years ahead of, of, of most people that, that has been in my presence. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm ahead of my time. So, um, well, so traditional man, we're just laid back people. Um, we feel like we don't need to go to someone's uh, party or club to have fun. You know what I mean? So uh, we feel like as traditional men, we're we're um, we speak what we feel. You know what I mean? And traditional men, this day and age, there's only there's only there's only a small amount of us, and it's very rare that you will be in the presence of one. When you do. Just be lucky and be grateful because traditional men, we're, 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 even though, even though this is 2024, that's understandable, but as traditional men, we feel like we don't belong here in 2024. <laughs> we feel like, we feel like as traditional men that this generation we live in today don't understand traditional men at all. They don't understand us and they never will understand a traditional man unless you've been with one so uh, so it's not all about that and then you have a bunch of um, women in this day and age think that because you're giving up the sex and you're giving me a piece of your vagina or whatever that that uh, it's like you deserve a traditional man no, it comes. It's more to that than just giving up your cooch. You know what I mean when it comes to a, you know when it comes to a woman. You know what I'm saying. Um, so we don't we don't like I said before. We look at more than just sex. We do. Um, and don't get me wrong, I love it, <laughs> and every traditional man should love it. Cause that comes with being a traditional man and being in a relationship. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but there's there's times in a relationship where, as traditional men, there's a lot of things we like doing when it comes to a relationship. We like having fun. We like cooking with our significant other. We like watching TV with our significant other. We like playing board games with our significant other. We like holding hands, kissing in public, uh, 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 sharing a slice of pizza at the park, sitting at the park, just looking at the stars. Stuff that that traditional men used stuff that traditional men used to do back in the in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s. But they don't do that no more. They they feel like, you know, you know, Let's just have sex and that's it. No. No. Um, so traditional men, for the most part, like I said, we're just, we're good soul to people. We're all about peace. You know what I mean? Um, and, and so we can spot the fake people. We can spot the jealous people. Uh, we can spot two-faced people. We can spot people that have a hidden agenda um, or whatever. So another thing, when it comes to a traditional man, 
there's going to be people that's not going to like you being a traditional man because, like I said, you are the light that you seek. You're very special. You're misunderstood. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. There's a lot of goodness about you that they wish they had. So since they don't have it, they're going to talk about you. They're going to try to ruin your relationship. They're going to try to talk about you behind your back to people they know or a person they know. You know what I mean? So um, they're not going to like you. As traditional men, you know, there's a lot of people that are not, they're, are not going to like traditional men because of who we are. We're strong. Uh, we speak with conviction and integrity. We're good people. You know what I mean? Um, we're leaders. When it comes to our relationship, when it comes to just in general, as as traditional men, we are leaders. We are uh, we are leaders. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're leaders. We're leaders for the most part. We leaders. Um, so we're not followers. We're leaders. And um, yeah, traditional men like we're fun. We're caring. We're loving. We're sophisticated. Uh, we're different. Um, yeah, we're 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 men, manly men. You know what I mean. So, um, so when a woman is in the presence of a, a traditional man, she should be happy. She should thank God. And when a man is in the uh, presence of a traditional woman, be grateful. Be grateful you have a traditional woman in your presence. Be grateful. Be happy. Because when you have a traditional woman in your presence, there's a traditional man in her presence. And together, to, together is happiness. It's, it's, it's joy. Um, it's sunlight, sunshine. I'm telling you, it's... it's is nothing but happiness. You know what I mean? Um, because a traditional woman is going to be like that traditional man. She's going to have the same characteristics as that traditional man. You know what I mean? So when a man has a traditional woman in his presence, be happy. When a woman has a traditional man in her presence, be happy. Because together together there's nothing but happiness and joy seriously and, 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 and they can rule the world with nothing but happiness you know what I mean and when you have those two two people that are traditional people there's a lot of people is going to be jealous of those two couples they're going to look down on those two couples they're going to envy those two couples you know why because that person whether it's a woman or man wants a piece of that pie they, they want what those two couple has but they don't because they have a lot of evilness and badness and a lot of um, hidden agendas so you have a lot of if, if you have people or a person that's jealous of a traditional man it's because of who he is conviction integrity yeah you know what I'm saying that's right so yeah but, but a lot of people, a lot of people are not traditional men. There's a lot of men in this world that are weak, beta male simps. So, you know, so I just, I must say, when it comes to me, I'm proud to be a traditional man. You know what I mean? I've been a traditional man my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I have traditional uh, characteristics, you know what I'm saying? Even as a teen, I've always been independent. And, and one more thing before I go, as traditional men, we're very independent. We're independent, we're confident, we're all about conviction, integrity, we're leaders, uh, we're cleanliness, you know what I mean? Uh, we're peaceful, we're all about love, peace and harmony and tranquility, for the most part, that's it. So as a traditional man, you know what I mean? And you have, even when it comes to a traditional man's father or it could be a son or it could be a cousin, uncle, um, they're going to be jealous of you because you're all about tradition. So that's my film documentary for the day. My name is Keith, a.k.a. GQ Smooth, Mr. Original, GQ Smooth Films 2024. And today's film documentary is called Traditional Man.
So until next time, peace, love, and harmony. God is love. Love is God. Thank you. Peace. Here's a man, a manly man. Keep a clean house, a man of peace, traditional man. He's different. He's a rare breed. He's a real man. Plays no games. A chosen one misunderstood by many. But he don't care. A man of confidence. A man of tradition. A man of conviction and integrity. Not from this planet. A empath. Sexy, clean, fresh, great. Mind, soul, spirit. He's him. He's different. A manly man. Some 
peace. Traditional man, he's different. He's a rare breed.